Hello, I'm Tony Vincent, and I want to talk a little bit about video mirroring. Um, I'm mirroring my iPad 2's video, and as you can see, I am inside of the Photo Booth app right now, which, of course, is a lot of fun. Now, mirroring takes exactly what's on the iPad 2 screen and puts it on a display. That display can be a monitor, it can be a projector, or a TV, and it can be either VGA or HDMI. I'm going to press my home screen button now, and that's exactly what you'll see. I'm using something called the uh, VGA to USB converter. And so you will see what, when there's movement on the screen, some interlacing. And interlacing are those horizontal lines you see when there's movement on the screen. Uh, the interlacing is not something you will see when you're doing video mirroring directly to, say, a projector. I just have interlacing because that's uh, an artifact of the way I'm capturing the video. But because we do have mirroring out, I'm able to capture video in this way, which is something we haven't been able to do before without jailbreaking. Then, you again, you can see exactly what I have on my screen. When I zoom in, it zooms in for you too. It really, truly is a mirror. Then apps like, let's say, Keynote, where is Keynote? There we go. <laughs> apps like Keynote are specially designed to output out the VGA. So right now it's mirroring. You can see each of my slides and what I'm doing as I work through these slides. But when I press play, then on the screen for the projector, which is what you're seeing now, is what my audience would see. On my iPad, it becomes the control panel, and I can see my slide and upcoming slides, which is pretty neat, and then I can zoom to the next slide just like that. Again, you'll see interlacing now, but when it's connected to a real projector, the image really is nice, crisp, and clear. When I exit out of play mode in Keynote, then it takes me back to exact mirroring. And again, we can go right back to the home screen. And then what's really neat also is if I change the orientation of how I'm holding my iPad, it changes directly on the screen too, just like that. And if I run, let's say, an iPhone app that isn't designed for the screen, it automatically turns it, and I can also, just like on the iPad, do 1x and 2x. V the VGA adapter doesn't give sound. So if I go to an app like this calculator where you can hear typing, you're actually hearing that through my microphone uh, from the iPad's speaker directly. That's not something that the VGA sends out. So you'd have to have separate speakers just like you would when you connect a regular computer to VGA. Then uh, if we compare this to the typical way that I usually show the screen, and that's through my point-to-view USB camera, it's a $69 camera, but as you can see here, we get some glare. Maybe you can see fingerprints, and it's not crystal clear because it's not a direct signal from the iPad. It's a camera pointed at the iPad. Though a big advantage is that you can see my fingers. You can see the gestures that I'm using on the screen. You can't see my fingers when I'm using video mirroring. Well, that's just a little bit about video mirroring. Thanks for watching.